mírame, qué valiente. Mira, Margarita, mira, qué bravo, mira, 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 mira. ¡Ay, ay, ay! ¡No pues soy un vaquero! ¡El mejor vaquero soy yo! ¡Mira, hombre! ¡Magnífico! ¡Ay, mira, Margarita, qué valiente, qué bravo me veo! ¡Bravo, bravo! Hey, Lenita, Gracias, Carlos. ¿Cómo te ayudo? Ah, ¿Qué es mía? Ah, mi vida. Ah, mi madre. No, no. Elena, don't go too far away. We are leaving very soon. Ay, they have such spirit. Fools. Idiots. Papa, why do you allow them to come with us? Chasing Elena all over Nevada. Disgrace. No, Margarita, they do no harm. Harm, Papa, please. look at the dust. Our Spaniards are loco. If Don Luis is as stupid as those two, I'd not marry him. Calmate, calmate. Oh. Ben! Yeah. <laughs> ben, can't fly, can't be gay. Senor! Are you all right? Do you think this is my normal way of disembarking? Of course I'm not all right. Help me up. Why do you gape and take down the luggage? Howdy, ma'am. My name is Horst. This is my little brother, Joe. Well, why do you make conversation? I don't care what your name is. Take down the luggage. That's your job, no? Well, you heard what the lady said. Take down the luggage. Okay, hey, Papa. They are not serving. Well... Ben, my older daughter, Margarita. Senor Cartwright. Senorita, welcome to the Ponderosa. Senor. And this is Adam? Yes, we've met. Joe? And Hoss? My sons. Your sons? It is just as well they would make very bad servants. Well, uh, let's get to the ranch. <laughs> Why do you gape? Take down the luggage. Staying nearly long enough, Miguel. See, si, amigo, not long enough for either of us. But we still have a long way to travel, and and Margarita is most anxious to meet the man she's going to marry. Oh, you mean they haven't met yet? Well, please understand, Adam. It is our custom that the father arrange these things for his daughters. With Elena, there is no problem, but Margarita, I... Ah, Ben, how often I have envied you, your sons. Well, Tony Miguel, I'm quite certain that my sons wouldn't want me to arrange any of their marriages, but there are sure times when I'd like to give it a try. <laughs> Margarita, Margarita. Always the same. Perdón, me. No, 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 no lo tires. No! Margarita, ¿qué te pasa? Tengo muchas rabia. ¿Por qué? Because they live with us day and night, night and day, dancing, singing. It. I cannot even have chocolate in peace. Margarita, they are... no, 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 hablas así. Somos uh, caballeros. Mar caballeros. Margarita. Mono. Smashing up my good china. Mono. Por favor, 
porquerita. Get out! They do not have to live just because you say so. I do Mar not have to live with your two buffoons. Margarita, no te dé tanta rabia. Acuérdate, you may turn out to be my sister-in-law. You, you, my brother-in-law. Not today. Ah! Oh, my God. Before have I seen her so silent. <laughs> you are to be congratulated. Our guest settled for the night. Yes, finally. Miguel says she's always been like this. Can't do a thing with her. I think he's afraid he'll never be able to marry her off. And with good reason. Come in. Senores. Oh, come in, gentlemen. Gracias. Gracias. Senor Adam. Senor Adam, we wish to express our admiration. For what you did this afternoon, senor. You actually silenced Margarita. And that was a true miracle. There's the voice of wisdom. I lose my temper and he calls it a miracle. No, but we are serious, senor. We love the little Elena. Si, and, and we would like to marry her. Both of you? Si. si. But there's one little problem. Only one? Uh, Don Miguel, he requires that Margarita be married primero. Oh. If you could only gentle her a little. <laughs> so that when they meet, this Don Luis will not run away like all the others. The answer, senores, is no. Why not, big brother? You're pretty good at gentle and wild horses. Sure, it might turn out to be fun. You two stay out of this. I hope I do not interrupt. It's all right, senorita. I was just leaving. Senor, por favor, you have to help us. Why don't you help us? I can understand you. I could not help but hear you. I see that like me, no one else can sleep, eh? Please, Adam. Allow me to speak. Well, sir. Adam, Luis Santana is our last hope. Margarita has frightened all the others away. One little thing that is not perfect, she explodes and whoosh, they disappear. Es verdad, señor Adam. Whoosh. If I permit Elena to marry before her older sister, the disgrace will make Margarita so full of fury that... Adam, have pity. Please, señor Adam. Please, señor Adam. Have pity. Please, Senor Adam. Por favor. Oh, pity. Please, please, Senor Adam. You're the only one that can sell. Please, please, help us. Adam. Por favor, please. ayuda a nosotros. Hey, Adam, looks like you got a regular please. Jim Danny prayer meeting going for you there, big brother. <laughs> get up, get up, get up. What kind of a crazy idea? What do you want me to do? Smack her every time she's bad, which is most of the time? Uh, perhaps this will help, Adam. I found it this afternoon. A play by your Englishman, Senor Shakespeare. Taming of the shrew. You might have known. Um, how did Shakespeare put it, Adam? Kill her with kindness. Kindness with that. 
lovely lady. Silencio! Silencio! You have awakened me. I want to sleep. Ahora. That means now. You're right. She is a problem. But like you said, she's your problem, not mine. <laughs> oh, get up. And then we were walking down the street in Juarez, and we were both in drag. But he was... oh, good morning. I hope you slept well, Margarita. I have not. First there is the noise, then there is something wrong with that bed. I'm sorry. It's crooked, it leans. I had to hold down all night long to keep from slipping to the bottom. <laughs> it is not so funny, Elaine. I could not close my eyes. Well, first thing after breakfast, I'll take a look at it. Let's see. I ask for chocolate, I get coffee. Margarita, por favor. Eh? Oh, fuck. It is very lucky for you, it's cold. I am going right. Joe, saddle a horse and go with her. Yes, sir. Oh, pobre de mi. Manuel and Carlos are taking me riding. Margarita will run into them. Perdone me. To fatherhood. Uh, no, 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 no. First to marriage, I hope. Eh? <laughs> Margarita, these horses are for Elena and us. I'll get another horse. Stand aside. When I'm afraid we're going to get another horse. Tell me something, Elena. You want your sister to marry that Santana fellow, and so do your young men, and so does your father, but... But how does Margarita feel about all this? She has much pride, Senor Adam. Too much pride to admit to her private dreams. Even to me. But she is my sister and I know her very well. Like, like all women, she longs for the beauty of a man's love. The sweet delight of a child in her arms. As I do, Senor. It is a great pity. A pity. And so you push and push. Did you ever stop to think, Elena, that maybe you and everybody else might have just pushed Margarita to desperation? Perhaps we are selfish, Senor Adam. But it is not only selfishness. We believe that Margarita could for fulfill a man to running over. We all hope very much, for her sake, that Don Luis will be that man. Check and mate. Mighty pretty, ma'am. I sure wish I could play like that. Gracias. Perhaps you can, senor horse. Here. You try. <laughs> now, um, you put your fingers, dos. Yeah. This is a E chord, now strong. Here, here, good. Now strong. No! 
This large onion is the fingers of a bear. Huh? I said we must uh, uh, have patience uh, uh, with the instrument. <laughs> Let me show you now. See? Guitar? Adam? The one I sent all the way to New York for? Hey, you sure did. See that? It's got New York right there inside. Yes, yeah. I'm sorry, Adam. But as you said, she's a problem to everybody. All the way from New York. This hurley I intend that all is done in reverent care of her. And in conclusion, she shall watch all night. Did you sleep well? How can one sleep on the floor? On the floor? Why, was there something wrong with your bed? The stupid evil thing collapsed. I could not put it together. Well, I fixed it myself, uh, right after you complained. You fixed it, senor? Yes, uh, you should have called me when it collapsed. Called? Where were you when I called? Oh, you did call. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I... I didn't hear a thing. I... I must have been sleeping like a baby. Listen, senor, if you think it is very funny to spend the whole night on the floor... Uh, don't lose your temper so early in the morning. You won't have any left for the rest of the day. Um... Why don't you have some eggs? I fixed them myself. What are these? Eggs from a dodo bird? Tastes like leather. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I'm not very much of a cook. Uh, maybe you would like to have some chocolate. <laughs> you see, I remember that uh, you don't like coffee. It's cold. Don't you even know how to make chocolate? Oh, I 
am sorry, senor. <laughs> I, I am truly sorry. I, I'll heat it up. Is nothing ever right in this house? The bed, the food. Have you done? Oh, I am so sorry. I, uh, fortunately for you, it's it's cold. Maybe some water will help. You're making it worse. Oh, how can anyone be so stupid? It's not easy. Idiot! It's a conspiracy. Margarita? Okay. Have you slept at all this night? No. Thanks to Senor Adam, the bed fixer. I... I think he hates me. Oh, no, Margarita. On the contrary. He is very simpatico to you. <laughs> He thinks, perhaps, that Papa and I have pushed you too hard towards marriage. He does. What business is that of his? How dare he express an opinion? Because, as I said, he is very simpatico to you, as most men would be if only you would let them. You! You permit people to tread on you like a worm. That is not me. I... I have a fire inside of me. If I cannot explode, I will die! Querida, if only you could try sometimes to bank the fire a little. Perhaps. I will try. I will try. It is not that I always wish to be alone. I think perhaps I would like to marry. I know this. But your temper. So you have said, and Papa has said, and every suitor has said too many times. Well, I am I. And any man, including Don Luis, must accept me the way I am. I wish to ride alone. I'm afraid not, senorita. The Ponderosa is a pretty big place. You might get lost. Then someone else will ride with me. There is no one else around, sorry. Margarita! Yes, Sitch! How dare you, senor? How dare you? You didn't tighten the cinch on your saddle. There is nothing wrong with the saddle. You make a fuss over nothing. I would have known if the saddle was slipping. <laughs> Do you see what you have forced? I tried to keep my temper with you, senor, but you are impossible. Maybe so, senorita. I am a man of limited patience. And believe me, you try those limits beyond endurance. Looks like you'll have to walk home. You will walk, senor, not I. Oh, no, senorita. My horse is much too dangerous for you. You know I am excellent with the horse. I couldn't possibly let a delicate creature like yourself ride this animal. Then you will bring me one back. Senorita, you will walk. Whether in my company or by yourself is entirely up to you. 
but you will walk. Well, you do know about rattlesnakes. Rattlesnakes? Of course, they uh, shouldn't bother you too much, but you can never tell about these wildcats. Well, have it your own way. Tired. Wouldn't be surprised. I would like to ride. Yes? It really isn't so hard. Try it. Just once. Please? Your horse awaits, senorita. Possibly be your Don Luis? It cannot be anyone else, can it? But he was not to come here. We. What am I to do, Signor? Have, have him see me this way for the first time? It does matter then what people think of you, hmm? We are what we are, Signor. But see, it does matter. No one wants to be alone, Signor. All right. I'll go over and talk to him for a few minutes and I'll give you a chance to get upstairs and change. Grazie, signor. I regret my rudeness to you. I will try to apply the lesson you have tried to taught me. Hi, Madam Cartwright. Welcome to the Ponderosa. Luis Santana, at your service, senor. You'll think it's a little foolish of me, but I couldn't wait home any longer. I heard so much about Margarita. Uh, she is here, isn't she? Oh, yes, she's here. And uh, you are welcome, Don Luis. And uh, Don Miguel and uh, the entire family will be very delighted to see you. Oh, I wanted to meet this Margarita so much. And tell me, is she as beautiful as they say? Oh, yes, 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 she's very beautiful. And what about her nature, huh? Her nature? Yes, her nature. I heard she is very hot temper, huh? <laughs> I, uh, I wouldn't be too concerned. People often exaggerate things, you know. <laughs> I hope you're wrong, senor. You do. What's a tiger without clothes? <laughs> it makes for more excitement. A man needs a good fight every now and then to warm the blood. I should have gone to Timbuktu. Mm -hmm. uh, senor, uh, can we go to find my tiger now, please? Senor, huh? <laughs> Why not? Why not? Gracias, Mamel. 
Senor Cartwright, Don Miguel, may I propose a toast? Why, of course. Thank you. I propose a toast to Elenita, my future bride. Ah, uh, uh, senores, a toast, yes. But to my future bride. Yo, future bride, ¿cuándo decidiste eso? Ahora. ¿Estás loca? ¿Ella se va a casar conmigo? Nunca, nunca, nunca. Ah, vamos a preguntarlo. Bueno, a don Miguel, ¿con quién se va a casar con su quién? hija? ¿Con quién? No, 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 no nunca. Elenita, ¿con quién te vas a casar Elenita, tú? Conmigo. Decídelo de una vez. Salud. Salud. What are you so glum about? Oh, Margarita, Don Luis. Oh, Adam, you haven't taken her to my heart? <laughs> I haven't any good Spanish blood, remember? Oh, uh, I've convinced Don Miguel to stay on for a couple more days. It's really for Don Luis's sake. He's kind of tired and his ranch is quite a piece from here. And it is very kind of you, Ben. Oh, not at all, Don Miguel. You know that you're welcome to stay on here for as long as you like. Adam, what do you think? Well, I'm glad you asked, sir. I'm afraid things aren't working out exactly the way you planned. Oh? Now, you see, Don Luis wants to... Don Luis wants to meet your daughter, Don Miguel. I've heard so much of her beauty, among other things. I'm most impatient to see her. Well, I am sure that she will be here any moment, Don Luis. Ah. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, would you care for a demi tasse? I mean, uh, some chocolate? Oh, no, coffee is fine. Well, fine, fine. Ben, shall I set up the chess board? Yeah, come on, I'll help you. Right. May I sit next to you, senorita? Oh, please. There you are. Gracias. I you am more... Most... <laughs> After you. Por favor, Don Luis, you first. I wanted to say you are most beautiful, Margarita. All the beauty of a Spanish night is in you. Please, senor, you are most kind. You and I are very much alike, I think. And I think... The senor goes with much speed. Time alone will tell us this, no? Time moves too slowly for a man who is impatient with living alone. And I am, Margarita, very impatient. Don Luis, in this at least I must agree. We are alike. I have traveled very far to come to you. And with each passing hour, I wish ever more to please you. And I you. We'll do very well together, Margarita, I'm sure. See, si. and all that is required is that I be uh, pleasant and agreeable and uh, sweet, no? I don't mean to be insulting, but I have heard things that... What things have you heard, Don Luis? Well, that... Uh... Well, they say that if you are provoked, you, you rage, like a firestorm. Huh? Gossip, gossip, malicious gossip. 
that it isn't true. A woman would be a fool to rage at the man that she would have love her. For him, she should always bank the fire. You wanted to talk to me? Si, senor. This Margarita, I'm very disappointed. She's not at all what I expected. Uh, she's not? A beautiful woman, I was told, and a woman of fire. Now I think I've been misled. Well, you couldn't possibly mean that she isn't beautiful enough. Oh, no, senor. But the fire, where is it? You heard as well as I what she said, and I guarantee you there is no warmth in a banked fire. She was the same the whole evening. Her manners as meek as a lamb. Look, don't go jumping to conclusions. She's probably on her good behavior, after all. I... Adam, I'm a sheep rancher. I live surrounded by sheep, and I don't want a sheep for a wife as well. I can understand that. You've been with her for several days now. Is this what she's like, always? Well, it's... Uh... It's very difficult to judge a person, especially a woman, in just a few days. But that's exactly what I must do. Once we reach my ascent, it'll be too late. I couldn't possibly send her away then. It'll be too cruel. I must decide before we leave here. Well, there's still tomorrow. I don't think another day will make any difference. But we're planning a picnic tomorrow. You know about picnics. Know about them, senor? Yes. They're just full of surprises. You son of a gun! <laughs> I got a ring. It was a lovely picnic, no? Si, senorita. Look at that! Did you ever see such a beautiful moon? You joke, senor. Certainly not. Do you not agree that it is a beautiful moon? But it is the sun, senor. You are making fun. I say it is the moon. Of course. It is the moon. And very beautiful, just as you say. Senorita, it is obviously the sun that is shining up there. Now, are you trying to make fools of us all, hmm? As it pleases you, senor, the sun, the moon, a star, is all the same to me. But look at my, my little Margarita. How like a dove, a little flower. Look, look how pleasant she looks. Yes. She's as gentle as a lamb. I'm afraid we have to talk later, you and I, Don Miguel. 
Margarita? Please, Signor, be kind enough to leave me alone. Believe me, I only wish I could. Senorita, you have my deepest apology. She's lit. Margarita, into the water! <laughs> Carlos, stop laughing and go help Margarita out of the water! Uh, see, Elena. Uh, Manuel, go get Margarita out of the water. Oh, see. Manuel. Gracias. You are such a gentleman. Un momento. Nada, Un amigo. momento. I am as much a gentleman as you are. I will get her out Carlos, of the water. Carlos, I only I'm very sorry. Manuel. But I am just as much a gentleman as you are. Don't worry, I Margarita. will get her out of the water. Will I will get her out of the water. All right, then. You get her out of the water. Oh, no, I won't. You pushed me. That's right, Senorita. I most certainly did do just that. I am sure it was a mistake. Will you be kind enough to help me out? Hey, Margarita. I deliberately pushed you into the water. Si, senor. If you say so, and now, would you help me out? I'll have you in. Let it be on your head. Why do you have to choose now to be so nice? You are a barbarian. <laughs> uh, an accident, Don Luis. No, no, Nothing more. <laughs> I understand what you're trying to do, Adam, but it's hopeless. Not even a sheep would have so much forbearance as that woman. Well, I've tried <laughs> everything else. <laughs> Why not? Margarita! <laughs> you always go swimming with the clothes on? Remember you were going to be pleasant, sweet, agreeable, kind? Don't show now! Remember <laughs> oh, me! Oh, senorita, you are going to bank the fire. For what? If he's... <laughs> if Don Luis was sweet, little... I don't want him! Why don't you get out and fight? Why don't you fight? You... How could I ever think I wanted a man? Rabbit! <laughs> For you! What do you laugh? All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. She's all I hope for and more. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my friend. It was a matter of honor. Margarita! Margarita! I am so happy for you, Margarita! Congratulations! <laughs> Well, Mr. Shakespeare, you mind telling me what's going on? Don't look so worried, Pa. This is the best picnic I was ever on. Uh, 
right down again. I sure wish that you weren't leaving quite so soon. Ah, uh, so do I. And thank you so much for your hospitality. I tell you, I'm sure glad everything worked out uh, so well. What a relief. <laughs> Muchas gracias, Senor Adam. I suppose you'll soon be getting married now yourself, hmm? Soon? Oh, no, Senor. Now I have to make up my mind. Con el permiso, eh? Venid, venid. Basta! Quietos! Adios, Senor Adam. Es tu culpa. Tú la hiciste tener tanta rabia, tú! Senor Adam. Yes, Margarita. I found this last night when I could not sleep. For once, it was not your fault. I was too happy to sleep. It is yours, no? Mm hmm I think it may be the way to tame a shrew, but not a woman of fire. Adios. Adios. <laughs> <laughs> Luis, be careful, my dress. Yes, my little tiger. <laughs> yeah. Adios. 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 Fie, fie, unknit that threatening, unkind brow. And dart not scornful glances from those eyes to wound thy lord, thy king, thy governor. It blots thy beauty as frosts do bite the meads, confounds thy fame as whirlwind shake fair buds, and in no sense is meet or amiable. A woman moved is like a fountain troubled, muddy, ill-seeming, thick, bereft of beauty. And while it is so, none so dry or thirsty will deign to sip or touch one drop of it. Thy husband is thy lord, thy life, thy keeper, thy head, thy soul.